Well, good morning. Today is Monday, January 24th, and it is time for our weekly meeting highlight. And today it's about making meal planning less boring. I know sometimes meal planning can be very boring. But anyway, we always start off with how I did. So let's take a look and see how well I did this week. I am very happy. Lost two pounds. I was, if you watched me last week, you know I was aiming for 0.6 because 0.6 would put me at my even, would put me back into the 70 pounds lost. Plus it would be my first five pound uh, goal because I set little five pound goals this year. Uh, no set time limit on them. Just, I got to fix this little piece of hair. I got to get a haircut. Um, uh, no set timelines on how long it's going to take me to reach my five pounds, but uh, I'm going in little five pound increments. So uh, I weighed in this morning at 232.8. That means I lost two pounds, which puts me at 71.4. So my foot is firmly in the 70s door. <laughs> so uh, I want to stay there and I don't want to go back. Uh, I need to get to my next five pound goal, which is 227.8, which is my next five pounds. I realized I lost a little bit. I only needed to lose 0.6 to get to my first five pound goal. It was just like cherries on uh, cherries on a Sunday <laughs> with my extra little bit of weight. So um, I am shooting for five pounds from where I'm at today. So 232.8 minus five is 227, right? Yep, 227.8. So that's my next five pound goal. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get there, but I'm gonna get there. But let's get to the meeting highlights today. Today is make meal planning less boring. I didn't read the article at all because it just came this morning. I usually get it on Sundays, but for some reason I didn't get it yesterday. I got it this morning. So. Um, it said, we are all for spontaneity, just not when it comes to meals. Re research shows that jotting down what you'll eat in advance and what you take track to make that meal can happen. Let me start again. Research shows that jotting down what you'll eat in advance and what it will take to make that meal happen can help you stay on track and lose weight. This past week, I really have been tracking my weight uh, and my meals more so than I normally do. I always in the morning kind of wake up and figure out what I want to eat for the day. I have tried doing a weekly menu plan. Um, it, it's, it's work. It, you know, I'm not going to say it's not. It is a little bit of work. But then some mornings I might wake up and not really want that. And I know I could switch it off and, you know, like it's not carved in stone that that's exactly what I have to have. But um, I just kind of wake up that day and kind of figure out what I want. I would love to have a cook and that I would just sit at the meal and just be surprised like Jim. He never knows what I'm going to cook, but he always likes what I make. So, uh, but he just has no worries about that. Maybe if I had a personal chef, if I ever win the lottery, I might get a personal chef. Although I do love cooking, so that might be a little bit of a issue there, but we'll see. But if you set aside 15 or 20 minutes today to, straight, to just strategize what you're going to eat this week, what you'll need from the grocery store, and when you'll cook or prepare the grub, it's not may not be the sexiest weekend activity, but there are ways to make it a Sunday fun day. I um, have I shop like in bulk, so I have a freezer full of meat and vegetables, frozen vegetables, and like bread and rolls and things like that. And uh, the only thing I really shop for weekly are my fresh produce and uh, vegetables, fruits and vegetables, and some milk. But for the most part, I have everything that I need in my pantry and in my freezer and in my fridge. So um, I, when I go to the store, I pretty much have a plan as far as my vegetables. Um, even though I have frozen vegetables, I do prefer fresher vegetables. But I like the frozen ones just in a pinch, just in case I run out of a certain one. I did try this past week buying some frozen raspberries. I'll never do that again. They're more so not for eating like a raspberry plain and you know, like I do I think they're more for like in a smoothie or something like that because uh, I was not impressed at all so I would rather not have them that have the frozen berries unless like I said I was gonna I do have some uh, dragon fruit that I sometimes put in my uh, iced tea but uh, for the most part I don't usually use frozen foods uh, start by prank cranking a feel-good playlist and getting cozy with a cup of coffee tea or flavored seltzer then poke around in the app to pick out your recipes, grab a pen and paper, and move on from there. I very rarely get my recipes from uh, 
uh, Weight Watchers. Uh, sometimes, like on the weekly things, they'll show something that I like, that I think I'm going to try. And sometimes I have tried them, and sometimes I haven't tried them in the past. I have definitely tried recipes that I've seen on uh, websites, or not websites, on channels. Uh, Jones Point of Plate, uh, Recipes with Roy, uh, Girl on Her Phone. I I've followed a lot of their recipes because um, they just look good. <laughs> so I have tried it. I do kind of change it up a little bit. Um, Roy had a recipe the other day for a turkey kielbasa with broccoli and asparagus, which looked absolutely del delicious. Uh, Jim will not eat greens. He will eat green peppers and celery. That's about it. So I, I kind of changed up the stir fry a little bit. I still use the turkey kielbasa and I used uh, all the other ingredients that he said, but instead of the um, the broccoli and the asparagus, we put in canned tomatoes, like diced roasted tomatoes, and um, green and red pepper and mushrooms. So we, we changed it up a little bit. You know, you can see so many recipes and just kind of like tweak it to like the way you want to do it. A Hungry Girl has so many great recipes. I have followed a lot of the Hungry Girl recipes too. But um, this is things that you need to do to stay on track. Spend a few minutes answering the question so you can map out some or all what you want to eat. Which meals do you want to plan? I pretty much always eat the same breakfast. I very rarely eat lunch because I eat so late my breakfast. I don't eat my breakfast till between 1 and 3, and then I eat my dinner between 6 and 7.30. So um, I usually just have the two meals. Uh, I snack in between. Sometimes I might have a piece of cheese or something. You know, like I usually have an apple or um, a pretzel rod or like a sugar-free Jello. Um, but I, I need to plan my dinners a little bit better because um, my dinners tend to be a higher point meal for some reason, I don't know why. It's, I don't. I, I know it's probably because I don't eat enough during the day. I'd probably be better off eating a small breakfast, a small lunch, and a small dinner. Um, I just, I'm like the Coneheads on Saturday Night Live. I need mass quantities of food, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. But I mean, I can have like, if you've seen any of my vegetable platters, it looks like a vegetable platter that you would serve at a party <laughs> because I eat a lot of vegetables when I have a platter of vegetables. But um, that's uh, that's just something I like to do. and. And when I do make my meals, like my breakfast is so big, it probably takes me about an hour and a half to graze on it because I don't just eat a little bit. I don't eat it all at one time. I kind of graze on it a little bit. The second thing you want to do is decide what you're going to make. I do like to make a bigger portion of stuff and then freeze it so it's easier. I have a lot of frozen meals that I've made in the past that, uh, <clears throat> like my chili, I have um, chili in there. I have some turkey soup in the freezer. Um, I do have some meals that I've made that I, I put into like little individual sizes and I, so it's just easy to grab. Jim works afternoons so uh, I have my own dinners during the week. I only cook on Saturdays and Sundays, mostly just Saturdays, <laughs> but uh, um, we usually get carry out or something on Sundays. But um, I just, uh, I, I try to do whatever I can to prepare myself for eating alone and not going crazy. It is harder to cook for one person. That's why I'm a big um, believer in making your own little frozen dinners. I mean, they're healthier than, they're not as much sodium, obviously, as when you go to the store and buy a frozen frozen meal. And I have found that they taste just as well. I have saved over, stuff, leftover um, lasagna. And a lot of times people don't think noodles freeze well, but if you get those Stouffer's lasagnas, those are noodles and they're frozen. So they, they have a, they know that you can do it. So, I, you know, I'll do that. I'll save spaghetti. A lot of times I'll just save the sauce, though, and save the noodles on the side. But uh, the third thing you need to do is decide what you need to buy. I very rarely go with a list. I do have an app on my phone called To-Do List, and uh, I put things on there that I don't want to forget, which is not food-related. Like the other day when I was cleaning, I realized I was run, running out of some cleaning supplies and I keep thinking, you know, I got to remember to buy that. So I put them on my to-do list uh, on my app. So when I get in the store, I do remember that. But um, I pretty much know what things I need. Unless I'm trying a, a, a specific recipe, I will write it down if I've seen a recipe online that I want to try. But uh, for the most part, I'm not a recipe follower. I'm like a rebel, I guess. I just... 
I, I try to follow the recipes, but like I said, when I made the other, the turkey kielbasa the other day, I kind of changed it up. Roy gave us permission to change it, so I don't feel guilty doing that. And then number four, what do you need to prepare for this? Um, I have all the supplies that I need. I have more supplies than I need. If somebody tells me like you need a food processor, I go out and buy a food processor. I bought a food processor, never used it, not once. I was going to do it on a recipe and I thought that looks like a really good recipe. So I went and bought a food processor. It's in the cupboard, never use it. Um, one year I asked for a panini maker. I have used it quite a bit, but I forgot about it until I reorganized my uh, pantry. I've got a new cupboard, pantry cupboard, and I put all my supplies in there so it's easier access. And uh, I realized I had that. Um, I got a slow cooker, not a slow cooker, Instapot for Christmas a couple years ago. Never used it. I have a blender. Never used it. <laughs> I mean, I have all of these supplies that I know I can do, so I, I need to... I guess my point is I'm, I'm like a rebel, I guess. I, I, I need to start using these things in the right ways. But if I see a recipe that calls for it, I'm prepared. That's the thing. I'm prepared now. Uh, they said to dive a little deeper. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Meal planning doesn't sound sexy, but it is things that can make your life so much easier, help your weight loss journey, and make things easier for you by following the four simple steps. Figure out which meals you want to plan for the next week. Uh, if you're new to meal planning, start with just one meal. You know, maybe you don't plan every single meal, but think like the, one day this week, I want to make stuffed cabbage. I found a recipe for stuffed cabbage. If I do it, I'm going to film it and do a cook with me because that was one of my resolutions for this year. I was going to do a recipe a week and I haven't done that yet. But uh, no, I have. But I didn't film it because it wasn't my recipe. But I, I did try the turkey kielbasa. So I did try a recipe last week. Um, decide what to actually make. Consider all of the recipes in the app and the meal plans. There's truly something for everyone. Don't forget to plan snacks and sides, not just meals. Uh, I don't really plan for snacks. I just, I have snack, I have things that I can snack on. My new thing that I do eat, it's taken me a while to acquire the taste for it, is uh, just to pop some Orville Redenbacher. I have a popcorn popper too. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I cleaned up my cupboards. But now, um, so I pop popcorn, uh, air pop it, and then um, I don't put any butter on it, which is very hard for me because I used to put like a quarter of a stick of butter on the popcorn because I like a really good buttery popcorn. Uh, I have tried the little uh, flavored shakes, like salt paper, salt shaker things with the flavoring and stuff like that. I, I just don't like it. It just... I would just prefer, well, I prefer to eat it with the butter on it. We're going to be honest. I prefer to eat it with the butter on it. But um, I would prefer, since I'm trying to eat healthier, just eating the popcorn with just a little bit of salt. Create a grocery list. Check your fridge and pantry to see what you still need and schedule what day and time you'll shop. I like to shop on Wednesdays. Uh, that's the day Kroger puts out their new ad and so their new prices. I mean, I realize it's for the whole week, but... It just seems to work out that I usually go. It's in the middle of the week. I don't like going on the weekends because that's when everybody seems to go. And uh, But I don't bring a list. Like I said, other than the to-do list on my app, I pretty much know what I'm going to buy. And plan for meal planning. Yes, meal planning takes planning. <laughs> Think about how much time you'll need and decide what you're going to do and start cooking right away. Uh, our recipe for the week is pork chops and cauliflower grits. Okay, I do not like a grit. Uh, sorry, Kim, over at Girl on the Phone. She loves grits. I'm not a fan of grits. But for some reason, it's not loading. The recipe's not loading. I don't know why. My, my internet is very slow today. We're having a snowstorm right now. So that's the only thing I can think of. Let me go back out of it and try it again. Well, anyway, it's not showing. Oh, nope, it completely went out of the whole, the whole app. Let me see if I can get it again. Um, doo -doo -doo. Gotta go all the way through to the end, get the recipe for the week. Okay, for some reason it's not loading, but, um, oh, here it comes. It took a minute. I told you I, I don't have patience. That's one thing I don't have is patience. Um, this is pork chop and cauliflower grits. On my plan, it's 12 points, which seems high. But it's a whole meal, so I guess that's not too bad. But it's uh, chicken broth, a bay leaf, a garlic, a garlic clove, 
your center cut pork chop, your a por purpose all purpose flour, salt, black pepper, butter, coffee. Ooh, coffee. Okay, you lost me right on the coffee right there. Uh, brown sugar, uncooked cauliflower, and low fat cream cheese. That's kind of weird that they call it a grit because I thought grits was something else. Maybe not. Um, I'll, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to try it. The pork chop looks good, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to say that probably not. But anyway, um, plan your meals this week. That's what we want to do. I lost two pounds for a total loss of 71.4 on my way to my next five pound goal, which is 227.8. So stick with me for the next, uh, well, however long it takes. I'm hoping less than a month, but we don't know. I'm not setting a goal. We're not setting a set date. But if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do a daily vlog. Uh, I do a, once a week. I do a No Tag Tuesday with my son Jimmy. On Wednesdays, we do a Ask Us Anything with my son Jimmy. You can ask us any questions that you want and we'll answer them. Uh, every He's building his own home, so every so many weeks I put up a show you his progress on his house. And um, I do try to do cook with me. So I showed you how to make an omelet the other not show you how to make an omelet show you how I make an omelet the other day but uh, it's uh, we have fun on my channel and hopefully I inspire some people to lose weight because you guys inspire me to stay on track so if you're new to my channel please subscribe leave a comment hit the like button share think somebody might like to see it as always stay safe and I will talk to you next week but hopefully I see you on my daily vlog